health news today. We've all heard of the broken hearted, but it's not only lost love that can cause it. Our health specialist Christy Krueger is here with more. Well, if you've ever lost someone you love, maybe battled a serious illness, lost a job, well, you know that stress from those events can really cause depression, even a lack of sleep. But stress can also affect your heart in a really powerful and potentially debilitating way. In her lifetime, 86-year-old Leslie Henry has experienced a lot, but nothing could prepare her for the stress of losing first her husband and then her home. A few months ago, Leslie was sure she was having a heart attack. My chest became constricted. I couldn't breathe. I uh, perspired. I, I was just going to pass out. The base here is squeezing, and up here it's not moving as well. Tests showed that Leslie was actually experiencing Takasubo cardiomyopathy. The name comes from the Japanese Takasubo, an octopus catcher. Its shape similar to that of a heart affected by extreme stress. That's why this condition is often called broken heart syndrome. Obviously, the mind and body have a connection and one can affect the other. And in this case, in a quite dramatic way. With broken heart syndrome, patients have heart attack symptoms. Their EKGs and blood work all point in that direction. But there's one big difference. Basically, we take pictures of the arteries of the heart and we're able to see whether or not those arteries are truly closed because that's what happens in a heart attack or if they're open. And if they're open, that means that the patient really hasn't had a heart attack. But what happened was is they've had this broken heart syndrome. Broken heart syndrome is a treatable condition that usually reverses itself in just a couple of weeks. Patients are given medication though to strengthen that weakened heart muscle. Doctors believe stress hormones cause that ballooning of the heart. Leslie feels stronger now and is happy to know her heart is healthy. That's what the doctors told me. It's, it was not physical, it was mental, emotional. But it really felt like I was having a heart attack. And doctors say we all need to reduce our stress levels with exercise, yoga, meditation, and getting that seven to eight hours of sleep a night to give our bodies time to rest. And you can help in the fight against heart disease and stroke too. Get those sneakers on and join me for the Broward County Heart Walk. It is on Sunday, April the 12th at Nova Southeastern University. Go to local10.com to find out how to start your own team, which is great, or just come out and walk individually with us here from Local 10. We have a team too. The money raised helps the American Heart Association with education, prevention, and lots of research. Victor? A great cause. All right, Christy, thank you.